Hi there, welcome to Kitchen Counter and Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. For today's video, I have an unboxing of the Diplomat Traveler in Fine, and this is the flame, and I have been wanting the Diplomat Arrow in flame, but I will tell you that is several hundred dollars, and I just like the flame look, so I did not know that it came in the smaller, more, uh, I guess cheaper um, Diplomat Traveler. And since I don't have a Diplomat Traveler, but I have an arrow, I thought I would check that out. And so um, this is the box that it comes in, a nice tin uh, that you can actually reuse as a pencil case or a pen case. It is actually lined and it's very nice. And it has a guarantee, which I don't remember getting in my arrow, but I'm sure it was. And oh boy, that is so pretty. So that is the flame and it's a metal body. And I'm just looking at this and realizing that the reviews are very much true. So all the reviews that I read said that it is very skinny, like a number two pencil. And I will tell you, that's exactly the size of, of this pen. So like, it's very thin and, um, but I have a little hand, so a thin pen is not so bad. And I also use my dip pens, so, you know, that's kind of about the right size of a pen for me. So that is not an issue. And I bought this knowing that people said it's very, very thin. So let's go on with it. Let's uh, take a look at the outside body. So it is metal. And it is this flame finish, which they get with a blowtorch. So kind of interesting. And that's really why I've been kind of obsessed with it. And the arrow is so, so beautiful. But so is this traveler, I have to say. And it has a clip on the top with like a ink drop on the, the part there. So very nice. And then it has the uh, diplomat finial with kind of a glass bubble. So that's very, very nice as well. And a little bit of a silver finish there. And wow, that is such a pretty pen. And uh, that is a Joe nib, but it's not the size six that is for the arrow. And I will show you the comparison of the arrow in just a minute. And, um, but that is the Joe nib. And then it has a plastic feed on the um, backside. Now, one of the things that people have said is that it only has cartridges, and so it comes like this, which is kind of surprising to me, actually. Um, two cartridges, one completely empty for travel, and then a full one. Um, so that's in there, nothing to see in there. All right, I'll set those aside. But uh, what I did, and I didn't really mean to, I thought this came with a converter, but I actually had ordered another uh, converter just in case some of mine go down. But the Diplomat pen actually takes a standard international converter. So because I just kind of like that so much better, I'm going to use a converter. In the specs though, from the different websites, it says that the cartridge is 1.5 mils, but the converter is only 0.5 mils. So um, I know that you can get a better fill in the cartridges, but you know, you can always use a syringe to fill this if you want. So this is just the uh, regular kind of old twist type converter. So I'll do a fill real quick and then um, show you what that looks like. But I want to actually do a comparison real um, before I ink and do all of those things to some of the other pens that I have here for you. So let's see, and I got this from Trufay. And they send you this very nice ink blot postcard and somebody with beautiful writing. So that's kind of a nice touch. And it's a small business and I think they're running a sale right now. Um, so it's a really good deal on that at the time that this video was filmed. Um, so got several dollars off of this Di uh, Diplomat Traveler pen. So I'll zoom in here so you can see and not have it be so blurry. All right, uh, it is a small pen, not only skinny, but also kind of um, on the shortish side. So that's like five and uh, 5.2. 
um, inches uh, with the cap on. And I have my lovely uh, traveler, which is just a little bit uh, longer uh, when it when all of this is capped. And then you have the Twisby, so it seems very similar in size. And then just for comparison's sake, I thought I would bring my Noodler's Charlie so that you can see how all of those kind of line up there. And so, um, you know, very similar. Twisby is a little bit longer than this guy here. So it's right at five and a half inches. Whereas the Charlie pen is, uh, no, I thought it's shorter. Yeah, it's a little shorter. It's just a, a tad bit shorter. But as far as the width of it goes, and the uh, diameter, I should say, it is very similar. So I wanted to show you, oh, by the way, this is not, this is also just, um, it's not a screw off cap, it's a, um, just a pull off cap. And I wanted to show you the difference in the number five and number six steel nibs between the Aero and the Traveler, which I think is, I hope it's helpful. Um, it is for me to just take a look because I was like, oh, that's a pretty decent size nib. And then you put it next to the the uh, arrow and you're like, oh, okay, that's a much smaller nib. But again, it's a compact pen and smaller um, dimensions and all that. So, and by the way, in case you're wondering, yes, I absolutely adore my Traveler. I love it, love it, love it. It's a wonderful, not only beautiful pen, but it's also wonderful. And that's really what made me get this Traveler because I thought um, it was quite lovely. Oh, gosh. Okay, I keep messing up here. So I also wanted to show you posted because some people said it cannot be posted. Oh, hey. Uh, yeah, it cannot be posted. It keeps popping off. Okay. Uh, the good news is I don't need it posted, so I will not measure this posted. But unposted, you are looking at an even smaller pen, and it is right about 4.6 inches so that is a lot smaller than I'm gonna compare it to my arrow and you'll see that's you're looking at much smaller pen here all right because the arrow is at uh, five inches exactly when it is not capped and I don't use it capped so uh, because again for small hands okay finally I am ready to ink this and I want to ink it today with the Diamine Blood Orange. Why? I don't know. Flame Blood Orange. Thought it kind of went together. Let's see if it does. So this is the 150 year Diamine Fountain Pen ink. And I love Diamine inks because I think they're affordable and quite pretty. And let's see if I can get a good fill. That's pretty good fill there. So again, don't know what all the complaints are, but you know, you can use a um, converter or you can just refill the cartridges with a syringe. That's good too. That's, you can do either one of those to get that going. All right, let's put this aside. Okay, so there's my pen and Let's try it with horrible paper first. And this is just my kind of uh, ledger pad, just cheap copy paper based, not even copy paper. It's worse than copy paper in my opinion. Uh, but this is Okay, writes very, very well just from the fill. And there you can see a little bit of the orange. I have the Diamond Carnival right above. And so you can see a little bit of a difference. And then a writing sample.
it writes like a dream. It really does. It is very smooth. It's it's different than the Japanese pens that I'm used to. You can see my ink blobs here. Um, but it's different than the Japanese pens, but I do have to say that there is a lovely smoothness to it. And it's writing beautifully right out of the box with its first inking. And for me, it is not too short, but I can totally see how for someone with a larger hand, this would be a tiny, teeny pen. And so I understand the reviews on it because if you cannot post this, um, then it becomes a problem. So I will just write such a small pen. Uh, it's reminding me of my Kaweco, but it's not that small, but it's pretty tiny in the in the grip section here. So if you have a dainty hand, this would be a wonderful pen for you. And like me with petite hands, it's actually quite nice. And it has that satisfying little snap to the cap. And I just would recommend this pen for people with smaller hands or somebody who wants to just put this in a notebook and understand that this might be a go type of a pen like the Twisby Go. Um, but it is very, very nice, um, nicely made and a very good price point and quality. So um, it's more expensive than the Twisby Eco. This one is for right now at the time of the filming of the video, it was $48 on True Fay. And um, as I mentioned, that's cheaper than some of the other places that offer it for around 50 ish. And so anyway, if you, I hope that if you're considering this, that you learned something. If you have some questions about it, let me know. If you own this pen, tell me what you think, especially longer term writing. I'd be really interested to see what you think about this. And um, if you like the video, would you please hit that like button and also subscribe for the upcoming ink reviews and other pen reviews. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Till the next video, bye.